the story is, uh, I think, uh, quite remarkable. Iodine deficiency is the most common preventable cause of brain damage in the world today, with in excess of 2 billion at risk spread across 130 countries. And it was when I was here that we started the work in Papua New Guinea, which led on to a global program. Basil Hetzel and his team at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital showed the link between iodine deficiency in pregnancy and brain damage in the child. Basil's campaign to iodize salt has now effectively eliminated this problem in most countries of the world. Since the 1960s, the Queen Elizabeth Hospital has earned a worldwide reputation for translational health research such as this. The Basil Hessel Institute for Translational Health Research, the BHI, includes all research undertaken at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. We are proudly named after this pioneering South Australian researcher. The first successful live kidney transplant in the Southern Hemisphere famously took place here and our commitment to research has led to many other significant advances in healthcare over the past six decades. In vitro fertilisation, or IVF, brings joy to countless couples who struggle to conceive naturally. One in 20 children are now conceived through IVF, and procedures in use today are the product of decades of research aimed at making the techniques more efficient and more robust. Pioneering research by the Reproductive Medicine Unit at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital played a leading role in advancing this emerging science in Australia and across the whole world. Global collaboration and consultation is vital to our work. Many people are still surprised to learn that coronary heart disease remains the leading cause of death in Australia, and there is still so much we don't know. Our work at the BHI, in collaboration with researchers around the world, has been instrumental in changing how we think about and treat coronary heart disease. Our contributions to this universal challenge will lead us to new diagnostic and life-saving treatments. COVID-19 pandemic has focused the world's attention on vaccines and their ability to protect against disease. At the BHI, we're working on vaccines against hepatitis C, HIV and Zika viruses, and now against SARS-CoV-2. My team, in collaboration with other South Australian scientists, has been monitoring the impact of COVID-19 on our immune system, and in doing so, contributing to the world's pandemic response. World-leading therapies for chronic sinus infections have their beginnings at the BHI. As part of our research program, we have developed and commercialised a new surgical hydrogel called Kydogel. This innovation has improved post-surgical wound healing and lessened the need for additional surgeries. Kydogel is now used in sinus surgery across Australia, New Zealand and the United States and may one day be used in other surgeries. the opportunity to learn from Professor Wormold and be part of this world-renowned ENT surgery group. Today, we put those invaluable learnings into practice here in India. For our communities, and indeed for us, this wouldn't have been possible without the Basil Hetzel Institute. Research at the BHI is always person-centred. The Rheumatology Unit at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital seeks new treatments for rheumatoid arthritis and other chronic inflammatory diseases. But beyond the search for a cure, we are always looking at better ways to monitor and manage these diseases and to improve quality of life for our patients. This bench to bedside to bench cycle is an important feature of research at the BHI. For 60 years, researchers at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital have been making a difference to South Australia, Australia and the world. 
through innovative research into real-world problems in healthcare and through training the health researchers of the future. Every year, the BHI hosts around 100 research students in labs and wards. We have an illustrious history of achievement and alumni. We are proud of what we have done and are confident that we will continue to deliver solutions for the healthcare needs of South Australians. The Basil Hetzel Institute for Translational Health Research would not exist without the long-term commitment from our supporters, past, present and future. Thank you all.